South Dakota is known for its diverse culture and historical figures. And in Chamberlain, South Dakota, one young man is on his way to putting his own stamp on history. Meet the polar bear, Nash Hutmaker. Nash is 6'5 and 300 pounds of muscle. While his whole life has revolved around sports, his high school resume in the sport of wrestling shines brightest. It's been something that I've obviously done forever and it's, um, it's not only, you know, it teaches you a lot of things. It teaches you hard work, obviously, dis discipline with your diet and everything with the, along that lines. Um, it's just, it teaches you so much. Um, it gives a lot to you. It's um, the lessons, the people you meet. I've met some of probably the greatest people I'll probably ever meet in my life through the sport of wrestling. That's really probably what I like most about wrestling is just the, how many, I mean, the, just the great people that I've met along the way from coaches to other wrestlers around the state to just um, even, you know, fans. Since the seventh grade, Nash Hutmaker has been wrestling with the varsity squad at Chamberlain High School. To make his career even more impressive, he hasn't lost a match since he was an eighth grader. As a freshman, Nash won a state title and colleges were already reaching out. But it was a match he had during his sophomore year that made him a legend throughout South Dakota. The sophomore, last year's champion, out of Chamberlain, taking on Nick Casperson from Beersford, Alcester Hudson. All the hype before that match, um, everything that went in that match, the whole state was, I mean, just excited to watch, I mean, watch that match happen. It was, you know, the moment I'll probably never forget of the whole thing is when they announced, uh, they announced my name, uh, my name first and they announced Nick and when they announced my name I just I couldn't hear anything else after that you know the whole time that crowd was just so loud I could barely hear my coaches in the corner it was just such a special moment to be a part of really you know because that's gonna probably you know go down as one of the most anticipated and exciting you know matches in South Dakota so that's just to be, be able to be a part of that it's just I mean it's it's crazy to even think that that was you know I was in that spot and I was able to be a part of that match and everything that to go with it it was just super super incredible a real good buddy of mine. I, I've never really experienced another sporting event where they're they're not really cheering for or against they just got the impression they were cheering for the competition between the two kids two take down, no back points. I'll watch it that match from time to time and I still get goosebumps every time I watch it you know that that's just one of those feelings after that match when you know I ended up winning. Just it it almost was like both of us won. You know, Nick Nick even said it in an interview afterwards. It was almost like we both won just because it was just such an awesome experience, awesome, awesome thing to be a part of. And you know, when we we're both still in high school, you know, it's not a lot of high schoolers get that. And it was just, I mean, it was just unbelievable. Just one small mistake right there with about a minute left. After that match, Nash and Nick Casperson were friends before the match obviously they remained friends and uh, after that match um, we all got back to the hotel and Nick and Nash went into one of the motel rooms and shut the door and they just sat in there with he talked to each other for about 45 minutes wouldn't let anybody in the room so I still don't know what they talked about but yeah that whole experience was a pretty neat experience since the match with Casperson Hutmaker has dominated his competition. Not only has he continued his undefeated streak in the state, but a new streak has also emerged. As a senior, Hutmaker is the sole possessor of the consecutive pins record in the state. The previous record was held by legendary wrestler Randy Lewis, set in 1975. He's a really cool guy to talk to. He's obviously been around for the sport forever, and he has a lot of you know, a lot of cool stories, a lot of, you know, some advice and stuff. So it's just, I mean, it's really cool to kind of even be mentioned in the same sentence as that guy, you know, an Olympic gold medalist and all the accolades that he has. It's um, just to be able to be mentioned in that kind of the same category as him is a real honor to me. So that's, um, that was, I mean, that was super exciting when I finally at Brandon Valley got to break that pin record. After high school, Huntmaker will move on to compete at the University of Nebraska. However, he'll be playing football instead of wrestling. 
We didn't try to push him one way or the other. I, I said, what's your heart tell you? What, what, what do you want to do in your heart? What do you have a greater passion for, football or wrestling? And he said, Dad, I just love to compete. I, I love them both. He said, I, I, I really wouldn't pick one over the other. It was kind of in my freshman year, um, FCS schools were talking to me and it's, uh, and then it started to become a rowdy that that was maybe an option to playing college too. And it's, um, the more I learned about the sport of football, you know, it's just, I began to love it more and more as time went on. It's, um, it's really, I mean, it's awesome when you get 11 guys going all on the same, on the same page and win a football game or break a big play. You know, there's no better feeling than getting up and celebrating with the uh, D lineman next to you after you get a sack or, you know, that's just feelings like with the crowd going crazy in the back, you know, it's just feelings like that. It's, it's awesome. And I've, be, I've just learned to love that so much more as the years have gone on and I've gotten to experience more and more of it. I want people to think of me as a great person, not, you know, not only just a great wrestler, a great football player, they want, I want to remember me as a great person that cared about his teammates, that cared, um, worked hard, you know, a kid that isn't afraid to wake up at six in the morning every morning and come and work out. Or if another kid wants to come work out, just say, all right, I'll come work out with you. Or, you know, someone that just, I mean, just a great person. And that's like how I try to live my life is just never be, not try to be selfish, just always try and be, um, just being a good, good person.